And many of you who have reached this degree without going through all the videos won't know what I'm talking about. Some of you have a little, a little bit of an idea. But I buried the rest of my work with the several different firearms I have. And so if worse comes to worse, everything's in order. Now, let's talk about... Um, Psych.org, which is the American Psychiatric um, Association's website, and you see this shows you the graph of percentage of African American adults where they live. You know, duh, they live in the South over here. You know, um, Texas, Atlanta, uh, etc. So we go on to um, talk about the statistics they have. Basically, it says. Uh, let me see if I can make this bigger for you. Basically, it says um, they make up 13% of the population. 30% of uh, the black households have a woman in charge, uh, as opposed to 9% of whites. They make less money, obviously. And 25% of blacks live below the poverty line, as opposed to 8% of whites. 20% of African Americans are without health insurance, compared to 11% of whites. You know, it has to do with money and the. Uh, discrepancies between the statistics and um, we go on and it offers me a little solace when I see what these people are saying so if you look at um, the high school graduation rates um, black people and American Indians have the lowest uh, graduation rates you look at depression and it talks about treatment, access, and quality. Okay. And they compare the two in the graph. And you can see that white people have better statistics than blacks, whether you're talking about any treatment or adequate treatment. It talks about the rates of alcohol use and binge alcohol use. And how blacks use drugs and alcohol more. Okay. Then it goes on to talk about compared to whites with the same symptoms, African Americans are more frequently diagnosed with schizophrenia and less frequently diagnosed with mood disorder. Differences in the how African Americans express symptoms of emotional stress may contribute to it. So it goes on. See, basically what they do is two things. They set the president and cover their ass. That's all they're doing. Precedent, set the precedent for bringing in more drugs into the African American community. They're saying, oh, we're not trying to stigmatize you, but they are stigmatizing by saying you people need drugs and you're not taking them. That's what you're saying. Once you, once you read through it and, you know, really derive what they're trying to say, you see that what they're getting at is black people have more higher rate of mental disorder they're being treated less and a lot of black people are dying because of it whether it's high blood pressure or whether it's homicide that is what they're saying and that is a fucking lie if I've ever heard one if by this video you don't understand that then you haven't even earned the first degree now look what they just said. Well, look what they cite oh they don't wanna um, come come to us because um, the the lack of knowledge regarding available treatments is a denial of mental health problems concerns about stigma medication and treatment not receiving appropriate information blah 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 so what did I go through with 70 fucking video what did I go through 360 videos a whole revolution with you for why because I don't lack of information is not a problem lack of knowledge rule that out Denial of mental health problems. I think um, studying myself for the past fucking three years and studying over 300 to f a thousand patients, some of them on the HIV and STDs from the institutions. But I'll get into that later. Out of out of a hundred patients, there was several of them that had STDs that were willing to admit it, and there's probably more than that. And I found a rate of about 50 percent that believe they got it from an institution but can't prove it and if they could who's gonna believe someone who's crazy anyway so and also you realize on the site they have a partnership with the HIV community let me get to that real quick before I run out of time here we go to um you know this is this is the tabs inside the APA you have you know the books and journals blah 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 then you get HIV psychiatry right we go on and what does it say 
It says, why is psychiatry involved in HIV care? Mental and neurological disorders have an intertwined relationship with HIV and AIDS, yet sadly are overlooked when HIV interventions are planned and implemented. Several important aspects of HIV care and treatment place psychiatrists at the forefront of this epidemic, including... So psychiatric disorders can increase an individual's risk of acquiring sexually transmitted disease. So basically, they cause the problem, then they turn around and say, "Oh, it's it's the mental disorders' fault." You know what I'm saying? Whether it's putting um, Prozac and fluoride in your water, whether it's giving you um, different medications and different vaccinations in your life that have side effects that cause these problems, they cause the problems. And they say, oh, it's mental disorder. And once they've stigmatized you enough, and they give you enough AIDS and mental disorder shit to no female wants you, what is what makes a female want a man? Why is the black household broken down? Because it's a certain role that you have to appear to be, to be appear to be a stable person. You have to appear to be a stable person who's well off, who's personable, who's going to make them feel good about themselves, and on and on, support a family, and blah, blah, blah. So in order for you to be all these things, you have to avoid all the white man's traps. And psychiatry is the main trap, the number one trap. They're like, okay, how can we get these people to come to us in a roundabout way and give us complete control over their mind, over their money, and over their brain? I'll tell you this. That's why I planned the Revengeance Group. Because I knew that these people, their plan is so wicked that the only way Christians are going to have any kind of freedom in this new world order is to make militias and regimes that are ready to implement extreme action. You have to set up your group in a way that the more they resist, the more they regret it. It has to be set up like a straitjacket. That's, if I was going to compare my group to anything, I wouldn't even use the term vengeance group. I'd use straitjacket group. Because I've created a group that's inside every agency. Just like Boko Haram infiltrated the government of Nigeria, I've infiltrated the government of America. And the more they resist, the more they ban my videos, the more my videos spread out, the more they persecute me, the more my, multi, uh, my followers multiply. So I've created a straitjacket around the New World Order, around the so-called authority figures of society. So every time they attempt to implement any sign of bringing in a tyrannical kind of social control, it's checked beyond measure. So it doesn't make sense for them to do it. For example... Would you move your tank in an area that the enemy has already measured for artillery and that's the spot they usually hit? And would you set your, set, set your tanks there? No. No matter how powerful your weapon is, once someone else has set up the board against them, so if you move your weapon, it's not in your best interest, then only a fool would make that move. Even the police have to consider, what are the consequences of our action? Will we get sued of harassment? Will we, be, will we be, lose our job? Etc. Etc. That's why they let the rich people slide, because only the they believe only the rich people have the resources. That's why I have ten thousand dollars, all my work, a bunch of guns, buried all over Northern California, as far as Humboldt fucking County. So good luck. You know, one thing I noticed right away is that they were having trouble dealing with all the drug dealers in Humboldt County, and I said, "Hey, once I spread out my shit between here and all the way past Sacramento, they will have no fucking clue, none, especially." When I started doing it years ago, before I even made the videos, my notes, my key notes, the key scrolls, the key spells, the key weapons, the key formulas, none of them are revealed in this video. These videos stop at the 14th degree, and that's being generous. They really stop at the 11th degree. There's three times the knowledge. There's three times the secrets. There's three times the weapons, three times the application of war arts, three times the science. Three times the alchemy. There's subjects I don't even touch on, like physics and chemistry. Well, I touch on physics. Well, I touch on chemistry a little. Well, basically, there's 30 times some subjects. So, in the end, my straight jacket is around the scum instead of vice versa. I've put the straight jacket around the people who have the real cancer in their brain, the real mental disorder, the real problems. So when you go on about, they talk about, oh, the portion of mental health and substance use disorders, blah, 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 they're nearly five times more likely to have HIV, right? According to the studies. See? They're disproportionately vulnerable. Why are they disproportionately vulnerable? Is it just because people are taking advantage of them and some of the people who are taking advantage of them are scum? Yeah, that happens too. But would that make it five times? That make, might make it two times. 
Do I have to remind you how the scum take away, take advantage of people who don't have mental disorders? Most prostitutes do not have mental disorders. They have been put in a state of mind where they behave a certain way. And that is what society's done. They've created the stage, the environment, to manipulate your behavior, turned around, labeled it a mental disorder, and have given you pills which result in you needing more pills, including expensive HIV pills. So by the time you've done paying the pharmaceutical company, you've given your mind, body, and soul. Because to believe in the pills instead of God is the path to hell. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do you think they haven't done it before? Thank you.